Lars Hedegaard is an historian, editor, and journalist. As the founder of the International Free Speech Society, he is well-versed in the free speech debate. We could mention the Swedish artist, Lars Vilks, uh, who did the famous picture now of the, of, uh, uh, the prophet in a traffic circle. I got very many threats. There was a fatwa from Al-Qaeda uh, in, in September 2007 putting a prize on my head. I was invited to the um, Department of Philosophy in, in Uppsala to present uh, um, the relations between the freedom of speech and art and also my, my own project as an artwork. When I started to show that, that uh, as one example, it was a kind of Muslim mob in, in the room and they started to shout that the film should be stopped. Then they uh, attacked me because they wanted to to stop this themselves. I came back to Swedish Secret Police, they informed me and said that it was extremely serious and that I should go underground. Uh, they tried to burn down his house. People came here with petrol and um, they smashed the windows. The curtain started to burn and it started to, to burn here, but then the curtain fell down into the sink. And so I was lucky that uh, the fire didn't Go on. We can mention some politicians that are being uh, protected, that need protection uh, 24 hours a, a day. I was working on a, on a short film, which would be very tough on uh, Islam. And I thought about the name and I thought fitna, which means ordeal. There's a concept in Islam called fitna, which means uh, persecution originally. And this idea is applied to any sort of speech or activity that would cause Muslims to lose confidence in their faith. And that's regarded as a, a very serious crime to do or say anything that would undermine people's confidence in the truth. Fleming Rose is the culture editor of the Danish newspaper Jyllands Posten that published the controversial Danish cartoons on September 30, 2005. I just invited cartoonists in Denmark to draw the prophet as they saw him. This cartoon depicts uh, that there are terrorists who get their spiritual ammunition from parts of Islam. The attack came late last night. Police called out to Kurt Vestergaard's heavily guarded home after a young Somali armed with an axe and a knife tried to break into his house, threatening to kill him. I could have tried to fight this man. He was armed with a big knife and a very big axe in uh, the living room, and then I would have been killed just before the eyes of, of, uh, of uh, Stephanie, the, the grandchild. They are acting on the basis of the assumption that the Shagria has already been implemented in Europe. Denmark and other countries are already part of the Dar al-Islam, Islam's house. Otherwise, they would not behave that way. On January 31st, 2011, Lars Hedegaard was acquitted of the charges of hate speech against him. The prosecutor appealed the decision, and on May 3rd, 2011, a panel of three judges in the Eastern Superior Court in Copenhagen convicted Lars Hedegaard of hate speech. He appealed his conviction, and on April 21st, 2012, the Danish Supreme Court ruled to acquit Lars Hedegaard. However, the court did not strike down the statute he was prosecuted under, leaving the door open for future hate speech indictments.